When you went to bowl your first PBA national tour stop, they rejected all your equipment, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a crazy story because I had gone through a lot of challenging times at the regional level just to get my equipment made legal. Uh, all I ever wanted to do was just bowl. I was a kid who just wanted to bowl, and I'm like, whatever you need me to do, just tell me if these aren't legal, what do we need to do? And so I got all new equipment at the regional level, had been doing it for a couple years, and then at Quaker State and Grand Prairie, went to bowl my first tour stop, and during the warm-ups, the practice session, uh, behind me, I won't name his name, but a, a, a pretty well-known PBA player watching, wasn't bowling on my pair, wasn't bowling next to me, wasn't even bowling the squad and was just watching. Uh, next thing I knew, uh, Harry Golden, who was a tour commissioner, came down and said, son, can, can come here for a second. Uh, uh, we see you have an extra hole in your ball. Uh, that's for your thumb. And I said, no, it's a weight hole. Uh, sir, I, I'm sorry, uh, you can't have a weight hole the way you bowl. It has to be for your thumb. So either you're gonna have to put your thumb in that ball or you can't use it, which is all my equipment. Yeah. So uh, uh, Cecil Codell, who was our Southwest Region Director, had already been through with me for a couple of years, came down and basically said, uh, Harry, his equipment's fine. He's been using this stuff for two years. We've already made him change it, but uh, your interpretation of the rule is wrong. And uh, Cecil, who was highly regarded here in the Southwest for years as regional director, I remember to this day him saying, Cecil, this is the real tour. It's not the regional tour. My ruling stands. Wow. And so I had to literally run in the pro shop, get the cheapest ball, a white dot, say, please put the holes in, and then bowl with one ball for that tournament.